Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of uh, iPhone Bloke. And uh, before we get started, a quick and a warm greeting to one and all. Happy Tashra. All right. So in today's video presentation, I'm going to talk about the much-awaited subcompact 4-meter SUV from the makers of uh, Japanese giants. Yes, I'm talking about Magnite. Right, so if you know the entire history of Honda, uh, uh, so-called Honda, and of course other Japanese uh, car makers, they have been very successful in India. But the only area where Honda hasn't been able to do wonders is the SUV uh, segment. Now, with the help of Magnite launch on October 21st, it looks as if Honda has indeed, or let's say the Japanese motors uh, folks have indeed solved the much awaited success what they were looking in the subcompact four meter category so let's talk about it so this is my first impression of uh, magnite uh, which if i go with the numbers they say it is the first car in the subcompact segment which has the maximum ground clearance 205 mm well that's exceptional they also say it has the maximum space in the back side and of course in the front side which is quite incredible numbers in terms of space and the clearance because these two are very important segments for any subcompact SUV in the market. But then is it truly worth a buy? Is it truly worth uh, a kind of a dynamic engine? Is it truly worth uh, to spend close to you know eight to nine lakhs if you're looking for your you know dream car? So that's what we are here to answer in this video. This is my first impression. Mind you all, I haven't had a test drive yet. But for all my resources and reviews and views, what I've uh, spoken to consultants in the uh, in the Magnite uh, sales room, they say it is going to be a promising engine altogether. So a couple of days ago, I've had a chance to visit one of the showrooms and I found a lot of good information for all of you. So let's get started. Right, engine, it is naturally aspirated. Well, whenever you talk about naturally aspirated engine, the first thing which you remind yourself that is this gonna be as good as Ford EcoSport? Because Ford EcoSport has indeed done wonders in the field called naturally uh, aspirated EcoBoost engine. Is this going to be as good as that? You know, only time will tell. Number two, the safety and security. So uh, if I go with the number of airbags, they say they've got four airbags and they say, you know, it's going to be a four cylinder engine uh, they've got both the options, manual and automatic. And after my reference, my view, what I have seen overall by watching the first impression of Magnet is, it may look sub uh, four meter uh, compact, but if I go with the real length and uh, the size of the car, it doesn't you know, really, you know, come into the figures of four, uh, you know, sub four meter uh, compact SUV. I mean to say it's not, that you know big as four com uh, four meter SUV even though they say they are into the category of subcompact uh, four meter SUV car segment so that's again in other words it's a plus because giving the traffic we have in these days in the cities or even in the villages nowadays it's quite kind of next to impossible to maneuver and take a massive car along with you so if it is under sub uh, compact four meter well and good but then if it's even a little less, I think I don't mind and I don't think anybody else will mind because ultimately the real purpose of buying a car is to get your utility work done and your, of course, pride, performance and your status in the market as well, which by the looks of Kia Magnite, I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed. Talking about all the bells and whistles. Now, let me give you a very good information. Kia, Mag uh, sorry, the Magnite has uh, uh, you know, unbelievable, uh, let's say, uh, the, the feel, uh, the cushioning, the overall look, the, the LEDs, uh, you know, the DRLs, it's, it's beautiful. It has this macho look up front, which is a typical, you know, uh, a Japanese, uh, uh, you, know, you know, looks. And uh, I'm really disappointed because, you know, with one aspect with this uh, Japanese giant, because Nissan kicks. Uh, I've had a lot of expectations from that car. Uh, it's pretty smart, intelligent though, but then it hasn't done wonders in the market the way it should have done because first of all, it's pricey, number one. Second, uh, a lot of people have spoken to me, those who own Nissan Kicks, and they say they have not yet found the rhythm, the performance, uh, 
uh, that X factor which you all want to see in a SUV uh, category. So is that going to be the same with uh, Magnite? Well, only time will tell. Let me give you the engine configuration. It's going to be a turbocharged uh, petrol engine. Uh, of course, uh, close to 1.54 uh, cylinders. Uh, super spacious though, uh, unbelievable looks at the back and at the front. Uh, uh, highest uh, ground clearance of 205 mm and of course you know uh, only time will tell how much safety and security it should uh, you know offer you know post the crash of global MCAP but the biggest uh, advantage of this particular engine uh, is it has borrowed a, a wonderful engine from Triver which I would say in Triver it was not that exciting or uh, enthusiastic but then I'm counting big time on this and apart from that, you know, I did not to say, but it has all the bells and whistles, what you want in a compact SUV, fully loaded luxury car. Well, that's it about uh, it, my review. Uh, it starts from 6.29 lakhs, the first, uh, let's say, uh, the base price. And of course, adding the tax and blah, 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 and whatnot. So if you're indeed looking uh, in the market for sub, uh, you know, compact uh, SUV, this could be one of those, one of the smartest uh, choice you would ever made but then before you buy it before you get your numbers done i would personally recommend you all to go and have a test drive and see if it fits the bill as per your liking well with this note thank you so much uh, for watching commenting and subscribing and until we meet next time you have a wonderful day thank you for watching